In this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to watermark your images using Lightroom and how to create a really nice looking watermark. Now if you've missed part one of this video where I explain why you need to watermark your images and the legal ramifications of doing so, just go to improvephotography.com slash watermark. So, to Im so first we need to make the image that we're going to use to watermark our photos. And the way that I created my signatures, I could just go to Photoshop, File, New, and I created a document that's 500 pixels wide, 300 tall, 150 resolution, and a transparent background. I say OK. Now I'm going to choose the paintbrush, and I'm going to come up here and choose this brush. And th the reason that I choose this brush that's flat point medium stiff is it kind of resembles a little bit more of what you do with the Sharpie marker rather than just one of the circles that will look kind of generic. And then I'm going to size this way down. And I'm just going to choose a, uh, a black uh, paint here. And now I'm just going to do my signature with the mouths. And this is going to kind of look like a doctor's signature here, but it'll take me a couple tries to get it right. But I'll just create that, and then I'll just do File, and then Save for Web, or just Normal Save. And it's important that you save this as a ping 24, because JPEG will not do transparency. So either GIF or, J or ping, either way works. I like ping 24. So we're going to save this, and I'll just chuck it on my desktop, and I'll name it Jim Black watermark. It's important that we make a white and a black version of this because I'm going to need to have both of those so that when I have a dark photo I can put a light signature on it. When I have a light photo I'll put a dark signature on it. Alright, now I go into Lightroom and I'm, I, let's say, man, that is just the best picture ever. If I put that up on the web, somebody's going to steal that immediately. <laughs> just kidding. So I took this photo and I'm going to go to File, Export Now, and I'd like my signature on it. So I go down in the Export module, do Watermarking, I'll check it, and then I'm going to choose Edit Watermarks. And you can choose. If you don't have a Photoshop, you know, don't want to do your signature, you could do text. I think the text looks really ugly. So I'm going to do a graphic. Now I'm just going to find on my desktop that signature that I made, Jim Black Watermark. Say OK. And now you can see that's where it is, but I want this to be at the bottom right of the photo. And I'm going to size this down quite a bit because I don't want it to be that giant. I just want it to be a little signature down in the bottom. I click save. I'm going to call this Bob whatever. I say create. And now every time I export a photo, it's automatically going to put this watermark Bob into it. If you don't want the watermark on that particular photo, well, you just unclick the check mark and now there will be no watermark on whatever photo that you export now. So this was kind of a darker background, so I'm actually going to put uh, my light signature on it and I'm going to say export and then as soon as that's done exporting we can see on our desktop here that we have now created a, a photo with a nice background on it a nice watermark that won't get in the way and is so easy to apply I mean just really fast uh, looks like we ran into a little snag here with Lightroom there it is and here's our photo. There's the watermark on it right there. This will happen automatically. If you export 100 pictures, it'll slap it on 100 times. Very simple to do right inside of Lightroom. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more tips, go to improvephotography.com. If you're interested in this information, you might be interested in my photography business class where I talk about some of the legal aspects of photography and how running a photography business or also my new intermediate online photography class where we talk about this more.